So the the sequence so far, as as I remember it, and I'm I'm now going to try and edit clips out of the Zoom calls, which I hope will follow this pattern. Uh, we 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 have some sort of events during the the conversation, so it starts out quite, quite aggressive. Um, John John Mayhe and myself making a very strong case for FM radio might disappear everything's going to go digital um that sort that sort of thing and then um chris norton who's much more agreeable uh i i, I did do a course on this on on how to write plays and characters very important so um chris is more agreeable and he's also interested in food and he slows everything down he says this coffee drinking is is gone on far too long. We've now got to stop for a bit of food, and um, try and sort out some sort of balance in things. And then um, JD, the producer, I, I had thought of him as as being um, a, a conscientious person, um, but he he he's actually plugging his show. He's very he's very excited that his old eighties shows are being rebroadcast on Access All Aerials. So he is a producer, but um, he, he, this isn't what he wanted to talk about. Um, but anyway, uh, then towards the end of the the hour, um, we we make some sort of proposal. So um, it it was a, a news event that the University of the Arts London had um, bought the London Palladium and sold off their Elephant and Castle site. But I think we're going to move that into a London version of CD Walk, which we'll come back to later on. And so far we've had um, moving down to the, the, the hall, the, the hall in Exeter, da down by the steps, sort of heading down near, near 4th Street, and uh, whether we can use that as a studio, a more a more sort of mixed up with the public, easier to access studio than the other radio studios in Exeter, um, or going into a shop. So, look, you'll notice that my background has now gone back to the original one, which is where the arcade used to be on 4th Street. So right. I I took a walk down there. Yeah, well, we drove oh. down the road and I saw yes. it. Yes. And it hasn't hasn't done much at all. They they haven't finished it off at all, really. That's you driving a tractor. <laughs> That's me driving a tractor. Me right. driving a tractor. Right. Right. <laughs> Well, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah good fun, so, you know. So the shop, the, the shop is still empty. You would say. Well, it looks empty. It looks exactly like that photograph. Right, right. So, what was the point of demolishing perfectly good shops with people in them to build yeah. an empty shop? Well, plus right. the student. They've got student accommodation, I suppose. Yes, yeah, student accommodation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think we should go and build our own studio in there. Ah. Oh. Yes, that's yes. much better. And then then we then we 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 give Phonic FM a, a ride for its money. Well, we could Sorry. we could invite Phonic FM as well. Um, yes, we, well, it could be it could be another studio somewhere connected. Yes, yes. You know, I, I've always said that we should have one which these two wonderful chaps below us can get yes. into. Yes. So they can come in and do a program, and that would be wonderful. It's off the streets, you know. It's not. Halfway up a blinking hill. No, no. So this is this is this is wheelchair access. Just for clarity, if we're playing this to somebody else, any anybody can come in and do a, a program or a bit of their program recorded. Do you know what I mean? A bit multi-purpose, so we say yes. studio. Yes. And and Exeter's got it. I don't know why they haven't thought of that. Well, sort of, I would... FM could be one step ahead. You see. Yeah, not, they could. S not seventy-two, but behind. Well, no, but they might. <laughs> I, th I think we should invite all the radio stations because to some extent they're, yes. co they're cooperating yes, right. on DAB or I mean whoever, mm. whoever wants to, to mess about with sound really there's a, like, there are going to be quite a well, few it, so, that, so like Chris could go in and do a bit of a, a something towards the show yeah 
without having to come into the studio to do it. So it's pre-done for him. Yeah. And yeah. if you want to invite somebody in, that might be a much better situation. Yes. I've always said we should have something like that in Exeter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it might be temporary. It might, we might just have it for <laughs> a little while. It's temporary. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Temporary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, um, no, but some... I, I think it should be long term. I think it should be a multi purpose building for right. that. Like, like they got the, the college we went to, they're a nice little studio. The college has got a good studio, yes. A great good studio. I think we should go and take over that. Oh, okay. I, I, I think that's the one we should have. And what, and just, what about just, and, and, and the university as well? Should, it was, it's a long way away. No, no, should... the, 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 no, universities were not very good. I like that oh. college one because it's oh, very okay. small. And we, you, you can get these two wonderful chats below us in. They're above yeah. me. Yes. Are they? Are they? Are they below Chris, me? No, Chris, <laughs> Chris, speak, speak up a bit, then I'll get you in my picture. Chris. I'm speaking up, Will. I've only got the top of your head. Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, that's what he looks like. Yes. Oh. <laughs> So, Chris, Chris yeah, so, yeah, carry on. Yeah, no, just checking out. Chris, what what are you looking for in a studio? Do you, do you like the existing basement options? Uh, the basement's good, but I'd like it to not have the wheel. Well, actually, it's fairly good to get to. It's a good spot. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I like Bonnie's FM. I don't think I'd like the access or the studio. Why is that? It's a bit quite hard to get to. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be in the centre of the, of the city. Oh, look, we've we got ten minutes left. Because... Uh, we, we had the idea before Christmas that we might apply for a, um, a grant. Uh, the proposal then was for, for something to do with trade trade and exchange. Uh, but it turned out to just be flat, flat art um, visuals. Had to be visual to put in a shop window. I don't think the shop window space was there to, to, to enter into or to put devices into. But we'll find out because that that has um, that has turned up. That's going to be uh, launched, I think, April late late later anyway. And um, on International Women's Day, there's going to be a, a Zoom call, and maybe some of that will turn up on Phonic. I don't. I'm not not quite sure. Uh, so then, the the most recent Zoom call that we did, um, it wasn't very coordinated because um, John couldn't be there Chris could be there at the beginning of it and JD was there towards the end of it so Chris did describe what he would like in a studio and JD spoke a bit more about what, what sort of studio was possible so Chris what 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 um, what do you actually think about the the studio, the radio studio in a in a in a near future, how would you like it to be? Um, hmm. well, I'd like my phone to just work automatically. I'd like the radio studio to just work and the audio work, and it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Well, so you'd be in the you'd be in the studio, and what, what do you want? What do you want it to do? You want to talk some of the time, and you yeah. want the music to come in. Yeah, but it just works. You don't have to alter settings and things. Uh, well, what sort of settings are you worried about? Well, just making sure that the Bluetooth is switched on. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. So you want to work it for... It just works. 
So you were, but Chris, the, the Bluetooth, that is the way that you, you work from your phone. So yeah. the, the, mu the music on your show in the setup you really want uh, just comes from your phone. So you, you can talk. Yeah. To introduce it, it. Yeah. It just works without me having to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the radio uh, communicates whatever's on your phone as music and whatever you say to your phone as as voice the the microphones in the in the studio might just as well be uh, a telephone is that is that what no, you're saying no i like i like the fact there are microphones there because they're better quality than my microphone okay chris <coughs> chris it was yeah. brilliant to see you. We know we know what and you want. You. We know what you want from a studio. Yeah, I want a studio that just works. So you yep. and Jason <laughs> can do all so of much, that. Does he? <laughs> right, right. We well, we'll 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 sort that out, and I'll send you um the sound version later on. Okay, cool. Okay, well. Have a good Friday and I hope it doesn't rain for you. Well, oh, it, it probably snowing. will, but we're, we're going to stay it's indoors, snowing. though. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, Chris. Goodbye. See ya. Well, he gone? He's not, he, hasn't, he hasn't gone. He's still... Oh, he's, he's, he's gone. gone. He has gone. He has gone. <laughs> he's, he's, left. he's left. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. JD, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I've got a question to ask you. Yes. I, t I turned on the old radio in the car. Yes. And I heard your dulcet tone. Oh, right. Radio, yes, yes. And I thought you were in the studio, but you weren't. No. So then, then, I, then I turned it off and went up for coffee. I thought, well, yep. you know, I'm not hanging around for this guy anymore. And, <laughs> and then I came back to it and there you were again. So do you put things on it that way? Or do, uh, do the, well, I don't know how was, they do it. So this was yesterday. Yesterday morning, yes, you, you were on three shows or something. No, you were working oh. overtime. <laughs> well, perhaps they repeated it, but that was yeah, between. It done. Well, it was between eight o'clock and ten o'clock. No, eight and twelve. Eight, eight and twelve. On. I was on twice. Yeah, four, four. Oh well, it, it probably might, was. But well, it might have been it repeated. Have been. It might have been repeated. Uh, Right, I, that that confused me. Dot com. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well. Um, <laughs> Yes, JD, it is all it is all very confusing. It is. I thought I'll stand outside and wait for for you to come out to have a social oh, coffee. Oh no, 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 no! I'm not there. No, you com completely got me there, and you probably completely got the listener as well. <laughs> well, quite possibly, quite possibly. Um, so I'm not no. trust I'm not trusting that system again. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, the the other thing that's confusing is that. Um, well, today is Friday. Let, let's be clear. Yeah, you're, you're, in, in reality... No, that, that, is, that, 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 is, that is clear to me. I know what day of the week is. Right. Today is Friday. It's, it's su Sunday disguised as Friday. That's why. <laughs> yes. So this is my clue that probably tomorrow mm -hmm. I should think about yes. what goes into the drama show. Right. OK. Right. Um, so you, you but, take a week to think about it. <laughs> well, I, well I, the, the deadline is the middle of Sunday, because oh, right. because as right. you know, Phonic, Phonic FM is is um, there's no full time staff, so no. things that get done get done when people have the time to do them. So the uploading uh, right. the uploading of stuff into the Myriad mm. system, the robot mm. control, has to happen mm. at the weekend. So therefore, uh, right. so therefore, for that to happen on a Sunday, I've got to have a pretty mm. good idea of what I'm saying on a right. Saturday. Otherwise, I get into All a right. panic on a Sunday. So most of, <laughs> most, <laughs> most of it has no to be... No panicking on Sunday. No. Worst no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I certainly try not to panic. Um, but, so... But, but, that was the only confusing bit of it all. Right. You know, because okay. The, yes. Because the, they, have, they don't keep to the schedule, do they? And that's. Oh, and, well, they and try you look to. Online, 
No, yeah. well, well, when you realise that hardly anybody is allowed to go into the mm. studio, certainly true, only true. one person yes. at a time, I think they've yes. set up complex file transfer mm. protocols and mm. batch mm. files and right. other other technological wonders. <laughs> by... <laughs> you, you sound like... The Phonic FM has got it together, but I don't think so. Well, yes, they have. They have, Ted. Well, they fooled you. You, you were, you were hanging, you were hanging about outside the studio, hoping to talk to me. Yes, believe, I was, believing I was, I was there. I was, I was, I had money in my pocket to buy you a social co coffee. Well, that, you stand at one end of the high street, and I stand at the other end. Well, that and would I have been prepared to do that. Well, say. that was wonderful. So therefore, Phonic, Phonic FM has, has teased me. So therefore, I want my money back. <laughs> um well, okay no hang on hang on to the mutt hang on to those 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 funds jd put them in a safe place I will do. and <laughs> yes yeah, so i'll put, put them back in the bank again <laughs> before very long i'll be able to, um, be able to do it. yes yeah. that will that will all work out fine but look i've discovered yeah. i've discovered um well, look, i'll tell you my discoveries they i i've right. checked i've checked through the magic of email and they could yes. cope with a mm -hmm. shorter show. Um, a shorter show. Well, I had I'd previously imagined that you had to provide them with two-hour chunks. Right. But Myriad okay. could only co cope with two hours of this right. and two hours of that. So that oh, right. That's but that's but we could we could aim at a one-hour show if we if right. so so if Chris was was mm. open to it or if John wanted to do a we don't mm. know show. So a wild show or a we mm. don't know show, if we provided them with a one hour show, mm. the, the the myriad system would just play out for another one hour. Mm. So that's uh, not too they... daunting. We could we could mm. try that mm. possibly. Do they allow you to have access to it, or do, does somebody else have uh, to do it? No, somebody else has to do it. So mm. they but... so because otherwise mm. I could just upload complete nonsense. So I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you see, Sorry. I'm sure. I'm, I'm welcome sure. to <laughs> welcome to the no nonsense show. Yes. No. There is. There is some sort. I mean, I'm, I don't know if they listen to all the shows before they get uploaded, but no. There, there is. There is a a stage in the loop. Mm, yeah. Because they, may, they so, made. It, they may decide to change the time of it as well. Mm. It's part, it's depending because, on what else is available. Because the reason why I'm saying is that. When I was on Tottenham FM, yes, I used to go and do my program, pre-record uh, program at uh, you know Friday afternoon or something. Yes, and then load it into the computer, and it will find its spot and and play out for you automatically. Right. So there is a system there to do it. That's why yes. I thought you do, you've done that, you see, because then you, all you have access is to your folder, and that's it. Not not to the actual machine. No. So well, so you, you can put. No, I, I have to I have to fill in a form, send off an email, and um, <laughs> upload. To, no, there's there's all sorts of things. It's so, a long process. <laughs> so so JT, let's go back to what Chris wanted. Which what, what does he want? Well, he wants something that just something that just works. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, that, that, every, everybody wants that. <laughs> yes, I've been trying for years for that. It never yes. never, never works. Well, um. He wants to. Um, uh, he doesn't mind being in the studio. He likes yeah. the he likes the microphones. Good. So that's one problem we don't have. You see, I think the big problem is he likes voice activated computers. He wants to, so he can talk to Alexa and say, "Play the music," or mm. "Stop playing the music." Yeah. Turn yes. the heating up, or close the window, or whatever <laughs> it is. And well, that, that, the, the trouble the, the trouble with that, you see, is that you can't do that live on air. Well, how does the robot know that Chris mm. is now saying, "I want to play the next record," or "I yeah. I was in a nice coffee mm. source," or, <laughs> you know, so social chat as opposed to yeah. now play the music or it's time for a jingle or other things he might say. Well, I, I think in a way, it, I don't think it will line it up for you. You probably would do if you had two machines, yeah, which you, ah. you could communicate. So you're not just one. So you have two computers going into the desk. Right. So you can say, you know, you can say, computer one, find me this. 
yeah. load this, yeah. computer two, load me that. You can do that because that's individually, but you can't do it on the same machine. It wouldn't right. sound good. No. So if you're playing so, something, then, and, and, then, you, and, then you hit, yeah. It's, it's right. And so, so computer mm. one knows yeah. What, yeah. what bits of Chris should be heard directly on the, on the radio. Well, they, and computer you two know, play, You're going to play this on both of them, you see, which he's going to play. Right. And they say, play this song here, you know, load this song, ready right. to play. Okay. And then when he's ready, he pushes the button. I don't think the computer oh, will so be able to do that. So what? So he still needs to push the button? Yes. He still needs to push the button and mix it in, to say. Oh. That's a, you, you could probably find a computer which mixes it for you, because you on a national radio, they have that. Yes, if you listen to oh. their playout systems. Yes. But it's only one song after another, you see. So oh, you no, can't change no, that's it. That's no good. No, no, we won't. That's no good. So no. So I, we need to look. We can look into that because if that help Chris, you know, to, to load this into the computer ready. Right. Right. And then he, then then all he has to do is push the button. Right. Okay. So when he's ready, because he's they the, the Alexa wouldn't know when to play it. That's the only problem. Well, I don't when know. You think about it. Well, if yes. You, if, if you're if you're talking along, you say yes. Well, today's weather is this, this, and this. Next, sir, play this. You know, it doesn't <laughs> no, sound. No. <laughs> no. okay. See what I mean? Right. So uh, okay. you've, got to have, you've got to have control of that bit. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so we haven't That's quite. I think. Yes. All right. Haven't so got, we haven't we haven't quite haven't, got there. No, but no, look, I don't think a, so. Okay. Well, look, a couple a couple of things that I've discovered mm. that might that might fit in. Um, Stephen Heppel, Professor Stephen Heppel, who uh, yeah. is, is famous at BET, he's, he's very often got a, some sort of display in the middle of the uh, right. exhibition. Yeah. He, he is um, he's very interested in what's going on, what uh, students, children, people who should be in school are managing to mm. work out in their own homes. Mm. And mm -hmm. he, thinks, he thinks there's a lot more going on than has been recognised. And, um, yes, I think so. Yes, but they, if you if you look at it now, you see we're doing this on this particular system. Yeah. Okay. And you know, three years ago it wasn't heard of really. No. If you think no. about it, so so we now got this technology where I can actually talk to you. I can see you. Yeah. I can see your background. I can see your glasses. I can see everything of you. Right. right? Which is much better. It's just like us talking in the pub, you know, or the cubby. You know, yes. To, nose yes. To nose. Yes. Right? Yes. But we are we so, are rec we are recording it, and we could use. I mean, depending yes. on what the sound quality yes. is, we can use bits and pieces yes. here and there. But JD, listen. Yeah. One of the things he's discovered is 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 in use is a microphone disguised as a teddy bear. <laughs> and these bears can be thrown. <laughs> they can be passed so, around. <laughs> So this is this is funny. <laughs> well, it is. It is funny, um, because these teddy bears can be thrown or passed carefully, <laughs> depending on your attitude, um, from one child to another, and they can right, well, talk, they can then talk directly into the teddy bear, and yeah. and the the sound is is mixed, you know, by agreement as to who's who's actually got the the device. It sounds very spooky. Well, it's a bit spooky, <laughs> isn't it? But the good, yeah, the, no. the, the good news is Rus Russell Prue has has discovered this. I've discovered this. Yes, I've, oh, so, I, so I've, some, I'm on, yeah, I'm on Facebook with him, so I, I, right. I get to know what he's doing, which is good. Well, just keep an eye on this because uh, yeah. if any if anybody's going to work out the audio that comes from this situation, mm. it'll be mm. Russell Prue, I think. Yeah, I um, think so. Yes, and yeah, um, he's. he's He's a great, uh, great guy to, to talk to when you when you're up in Exeter, um, in London, sorry. Yes. You know, and I don't know, I don't know who I'm talking to. No. But this system, <laughs> this system will be able to see you. you right. Know, when it's, right. Okay. And that'll be much better. Yes, that's so, that's true. That's yeah. True. So for voice, it will be fantastic. You see, there'll be no right. problem with it. Right. But I, I don't know if you can play music through it. That's the only thing. <laughs> I don't think uh, you're allowed to. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't think mm. so. But, but well, we tried, we tried playing a video. You can yes. share, you, uh, if I share my screen, I don't think we get um, sound. Mm. 
No, but, right, we, okay. but, but, so, but all, the, all these things will come later. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping the clips and everything will all, all fit together. But um, long-suffering phonic listeners, you may realise that this show is a bit of a jumble. It's old clips put together, some of them repeated. Um, it did start out as the storyteller and Witsif and Dior and so there will be quite a bit from uh, those sources but other bits that seem to fit the stories of J.G. Ballard from the Internet Archive and um, other other bits that, that turn up if I, if I don't introduce the music um, Shazam is, is very good uh, I, I, ho I hope to mention everything, but um, I, I, I may not. And you may need to listen to the whole two hours to find everything that's um, necessary information. <laughs>